What's up, YouTube? Blessed with another day of life. Let's get into this video. So, I bought a car recently, and it was nice. It's you know thirty-two thousand miles, two thousand sixteen. Beautiful color. I like the color a lot. Nice, beautiful blue color. Honda Civic, and it's a great car. I never had a car with so little amount of miles, and I've never um, had a car that was so fuel efficient, and those are things that I really like about cars. So it was a huge plus, a huge blessing, and I had help buying it, um, and it was a great deal. So I go, show up to the, to the dealer, to the and um, drive the car, it's running great and everything. And I'm like, man, so I'm gonna buy this car. It's a great deal, let's do it. So I buy the car and as I'm driving home, the transmission goes out. Step on, I try to accelerate a little bit and next thing I know the car loses all its power and, and it starts to slow down pretty pretty quickly um, I'm alarmed I'm right there turning from lane to lane I'm on the second I'm on the lane right next to the carpool lane so um the cars are almost hitting me so I start to pull over and I'm like man stop and I'm just what I'm saying in my heart is like did I do this time or what why why can't I catch a break and I was distraught I was very distraught I was like man these guys probably ripped me off. They probably knew this car had problems and all that. So, like, man, this is too good to be true. So I, was, I, I stayed a little hopeful, and I didn't say anything. So I get on my phone. I call the insurance, and I, I call the, the guy who sold me the car. I didn't even get home yet, and the car already stopped. So I drove to the side. I, it would only go to first gear, and when I got to a place where I could even park, it would it stopped. I couldn't even go to first gear anymore. Sport mode didn't work. The L didn't work. Um, drive didn't work. Reverse didn't work. Nothing worked. Only neutral. So I moved the car, parked it right, and I called the, the dealer and they told me to get somebody out there to tow it to a shop. So I was distraught. Um, but I can, I kept my composure said I'm gonna be all right I might be dealing like this I might be feeling a certain way but I'm gonna keep my composure and keep in mind this was about three weeks ago so kept my composure I spoke to him I spoke to the to the guy who sold me the car politely and so he picks up the car takes it to the dealer tells me the problem and I tell him thank you and I get a ride home Keep driving my old car and life goes on tell them on monday we're going to finalize this deal anyways i'm having faith you gave me your word give me your word we have text messages let's do it i'm going to buy the car i'm going to continue on even though things are very fishy right now things are very suspect i'm going to continue on you gave me your word the car is decent i'm going to move on with this so then I go and I go with my sister. We purchase a car. She she co-signs. I'm going to pay for everything, but she has excellent credit. Her rates are lower. Uh, thank you for that, Dan Marie's the best. So we go to the to the to the schools first to get the car. Um, what do you call it? Financed. We go back to the dealership. We speak to the guy. We're polite and everything. We're cool. Things are great. So we do it, we get it done, sign the deals, tell her I have my word. I told you I would do this on Monday, we did it. Now, I have faith that you're gonna do your part. Thank you, let's do it. So he tells me he's gonna keep me updated. We bought the car already, he hasn't even got to the house, but we continue anyways. So now I own the car. I didn't have to go through with it, but I did anyways. May have not have been the best decision, but got the car financed. 
So go back home, <clears throat> go on, live a week, week and a half. And the guy calls me and tells me, okay, we got your car ready. I'm going to take it home or take it to the dealership. And then I'm going to drive it around for a couple hours and I'll give you a call if it's good. So then he tells me, later on, he gives me a call and he tells me the car is not good. It's not ready, but, um, but I'm going to, the transmission's off now. They're going to replace the whole transmission. So I get a good deal and, and, um, so they replaced the whole transmission, brand new transmission, zero, zero miles on it for free, no payment, no nothing. And I got the car back on my birthday, the same day I was born. Isn't that a beautiful story? Tell me that's not a beautiful story. Give all the honor and glory to God. He sets things up. He puts them the way they are. You just got to be faithful and you can't trip when bad situations um, seem to occur because there might be a more beautiful ending to it. What you got to do is you got to realign your yourself to the situation. You got to be like water. You got to be um, unresistant. You got to go with with the the punches. You got to roll with the punches instead of tripping and making a bad stumble. Because I could have easily been like, "Hey, bro, what the heck? Oh, I don't want this car anymore. You keep it." I would have lost a deal. It was two thousand something dollars under market value. That's a great deal. I could have lost all of that because I let the anger, my anger, get the best of me. But instead, I rather chose not to let my anger get the best of me. I told him, you know what, bro? Let's do this. We're gonna continue. I'm gonna keep on being the person I can be. You know, I'm gonna keep being real, just because I may have encountered a a bad situation doesn't mean I'm going to go out and act immature. I could have easily done that though. I could have been like, nah, this is, this is too suspect. I'm going to, I'm not going to get the car. I'm not even going to go through with the financing. What, what does that help? It just makes a bad situation a lot worse. In the plus side, got a free transmission, brand new, got a great car, driving it, great features, great color, and Let's see where it goes. Gonna, and I learned a valuable lesson. And I got to see, and I got it back on my birthday. I learned a valuable lesson on patience. I learned a valuable lesson on faith and on God that he, he does provide. And he is the overall viewer. It's not in my hands to say that they're going to go through or not. But it's in God's hands. And if they, they go against me, it's like it goes to trial court. They are now uh, defending against the state. But rather, they go to God's court, and they're not a defending against me anymore. So if they're playing, they're not playing me. And if I get played, so what? I didn't do anything wrong on my part. They played. And I'm not saying that just to say trust anybody, but I did. I did see the weight, and I did. I did take precaution. But with that being said, though, be patient. Understand. Don't trip on the on the hard times. Don't trip on them. Because something beautiful might come out of it. So peace out. Like and subscribe. Hope you learned something from this.